This is The Reporter's Notebook, hosted by Elaine Shane. Welcome to this entry in the DTN Reporter's Notebook. DTN Senior Ag Meteorologist Bryce Anderson joins us today as we look at the fall weather forecast. Bryce, let's start off with what's happening in the Pacific region right now. Well, Elaine, uh, there's been so much discussion about uh, how the Pacific Ocean is uh, is doing uh, throughout the year and at this uh, moment as we get kind of into the latter part of the summer uh, the situation is just basically neutral. Uh, the water temperatures have just approached uh, the threshold of a La Nina but uh, they're running about you know four tenths to six tenths of a degree Celsius below average and then uh, as far as the uh, the scenario with the uh, wind conditions the Southern Oscillation Index uh, that uh, that reading is uh, you know just a little bit uh, on a positive side, but it's not not very far from zero at all. So the water temperatures have indeed gotten cooler, but they have cooled down very slowly. And so it, uh, at this point, we are in a neutral Pacific, slowly trending toward La Nina. So speaking of La Nina, how, yeah. cl how close are we to seeing that form? And what are the features of it? Well, I think that we are going to uh, see La Nina form sometime in September. I would say uh, you know, a little bit after Labor Day. I think that's a pretty uh, decent uh, time frame for it. It does look like, according to uh, forecasts from uh, different uh, forecast models, that uh, it's going to be a weak event. And uh, it's not going to be just a, a real stout uh, feature. One thing that happens over much of the country when La Nina is in effect uh, during the fall season is that uh, the weather pattern is uh, generally pretty dry. And uh, when you think about harvest conditions, uh, that is a, uh, is a beneficial feature uh, for the harvest uh, pattern. And uh, I think that that is one thing to think about uh, when uh, you know, the Pacific slides into La Nina. Usually it's uh, pretty good uh, in thinking about overall harvest. You mentioned dry pattern. What are some of the other things that you're expecting or seeing for the fall weather? Well, I think the uh, the main feature uh, is is going to be a, a fairly uh, typical uh, type of fall uh, with the uh, with the temperature pattern uh, certainly warm and and that is. Uh, you know that that's a feature that we've had all summer. It's been uh, it's been a warm season. I think that's going to continue. In fact, uh, forecasts are for the entire continental U.S. Uh, to have above normal temperatures. Precipitation is going to be a little bit more um, you know a, a little bit more varied, but uh, there is no real just a bone dry area except for the deep south. Otherwise, uh, quite a few other locations are going to have uh, conditions uh, kind of on either side of uh, average. And, and I think even uh, locations uh, like in the northern part of the country that have above normal are not necessarily just going to get inundated with uh, precipitation this fall. So they'll be able to get the harvest out? I think, I think harvest is going to go quite well. Uh, we've had some years, uh, you know, we remember when it was a, a wetter pattern and uh, colder and it was a little tough to get uh, equipment in the fields and so forth. I don't think we're seeing that this year. Thanks, Bryce. You're welcome. With Bryce Anderson, I'm Elaine Shane, and that's today's entry in the DTN Reporter's Notebook. Thanks for joining us and have a good evening from DTN. This has been the Reporter's Notebook from the DTN Progressive Farmer Newsroom.